in a surprising yet highly strategic effort to protect agriculture across the Americas, the United States has been releasing hundreds of millions of sterilized screwworm flies into Panama every year. The initiative, which involves dropping 15 million flies from planes each week, is part of a decades-old program aimed at controlling the deadly screwworm population that once wreaked havoc on livestock and even posed a threat to humans. The history of this unusual practice dates back to the 1960s when the U.S. Department of Agriculture first began breeding screw worms. Flies from the blowfly family that lay their eggs in open wounds on animals, causing fatal infections. These flies, which had devastated cattle farms in the U.S., prompted the government to take action. Initial efforts included breeding the flies in large facilities where they were fed warm ground beef and blood but logistical challenges and unpleasant odors led to a more economical and scalable solution. A factory in Panama where the flies are now fed a mix of powdered blood, milk, and eggs. The key to controlling the screw worm population is an innovative technique known as the sterile insect technique, SIT. This involves breeding large numbers of male flies, sterilizing them using radiation, and releasing them over affected areas. Since sterile males cannot reproduce, the fly population gradually declines as fewer fertile eggs are laid. The U.S. decided to target Panama as the release point for these flies due to its strategic location at the Isthmus of Panama, the narrowest point in Central America. By creating an invisible barrier with sterile flies, the U.S prevents new infestations from migrating north into Mexico and ultimately back into U.S. territory. This program is not just about protecting livestock, it's also about economics. While the initiative costs around $15 million annually, it saves American agriculture nearly $800 million every year by preventing the spread of screwworm infestations. The effectiveness of the sterile fly method has been demonstrated on several occasions, including in the Florida Keys, where screwworm infestations in deer were controlled using the same technique. Despite its success, the U.S. faces challenges in maintaining cooperation with neighboring countries. Screwworms, like many pests, do not recognize borders, meaning that a coordinated effort across multiple gnaws.